The roads wind across the desert as you enter the territory below the sea level. The sand mountains stretch dry and barren and you've entered the lowest territory on earth. The Dead Sea, bordering Israel and Jordan, is the lowest point on earth. It is located over 400 meters below sea level. The lake is 67 kilometers long and 18 kilometers wide. It attracts millions of visitors from around the world who come here for its healing effect. They also swim in the lake, which is as good as floating due to high density of the water here. It is my first time at the Dead Sea and it's an outstanding experience. To float in water, human body normally sinks in water. Here I was floating in water, water feeding. Without having to expend any energy, I was floating in water. Outstanding. But the water hurts. But the sea has been shrinking swiftly in the recent years due to extraction of water and minerals by Jordan and Israel. Cosmetic companies also extract minerals from the sea, impacting its ecosystem. Since 1960, the sea surface level has gone down by more than 10 meters. Because it's very hot here and the water is dry and uh, the dead sea level goes down every year about a meter even more for the meter, because it's very hot and not the fresh water gets inside and not uh, because of the sun, the water is dry. And that's why the, the, the level goes down and down every, time, every year. The sea is eight times saltier than any other water body in the world. Because animals can't survive this level of salinity, it has been termed the Dead Sea. Located at the lowest place in the world, the Dead Sea has no life because of its very salty conditions and the high density of the water makes objects float on it. But despite that, the sea water is considered very, very important in terms of the mineral properties it has and it's a very important healing site for tourists from all around the world. For Kantipur Television, in Dead Sea, Israel, with Shams Fresh on the camera, this is Prativa Tulader.